today's video it is going to be a haul. I went to Blue Notes and Bath and Body Works and I got makeup and I got Lush stuff and just a schmack load of stuff. I want to see this is a collective haul. I didn't buy this all in one go. Um, it's been collecting over the past little while I want to say so let's just get into it. I want to start out with the two things I bought from Bath and Body Works and they are the mason jar candles. Um, these were two for 22 instead of the three wick candles. I would have way rather got the three wick candles, but they don't have that two for 22 or two for something sale for a while, the lady said. So I just got these. I got one in leaves, which is my all time favorite fall scent, um, which my big three wick candle is about to run out. So I just picked up another one of these as a backup. And then I got a new scent, which is the, well, a new scent for me, at least, the Marshmallow Fireside. I don't know what happened. I never have smelled this before, and and I don't know how to describe it. But it's actually one of my new favorites. Nothing can top leaves, though. So I got those two candles, and the, I'll go through these, um, I won't go through these fast. I don't really burn candles, just because it's still really hot here. Where I live, so these I will burn at like a later date or something. And then I went to Lush and I bought four bath bombs. One of which I already used yesterday. It is the the like the little pink one with the little flowers on. I can't remember the life of me what it's called, but I got that one. I actually used that last night, and then I bought the six bomb bath bomb, which. I've actually never bought this one before and I'm really excited to use it. I can't describe scents for the life of me, so I got that one. And then I bought my personal favorite, which is the Dragon Ball or Dragon Egg one, where it has like a bunch of like multicolored stuff that turns your back like rainbow kind of, which I really like. And this one smells kind of like, um, sweet like sweet tarts the candy in my opinion so I got that and then I got just one of the little ones and this is again one of my favorites this is the butter bowl and it kind of smells like vanilla um so I got that one so that's all I got from Lush and then moving on to the makeup I have one high-end thing, which I plan on doing a first impression on, and this is the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation. Just looks like this. Um, what did I see? I have this. I think it was Young 19 Ashley did a first impression on this, and I want to say Emily Noel. I know for sure the Ashley did it. I don't know if Emily did it, though. I thought I'd pick this up. I've heard actually really good things and I asked the lady in Sephora where I bought it um, what was her personal favorite and she said this one. So the box just looks like this. Take it out and then the bottle just looks like this which I really love like the gold and stuff and it has a pump which I love it when foundations have pumps but I plan on doing a first impression on this. I haven't used it obviously yet. Um, in the near future, that's one of, my, my, one of my upcoming videos for you guys. And then I got two of the Joe Fresh Longwear Liquid Lipsticks. One is which I'm wearing today, which is kind of a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, and this is in the shade... What do you call it? Savage? Does that, you guys won't be able to see that, but I think that says Savage, which is just like a purpley. I never wear purples, so I'm super excited to start wearing this. It's a little bit something out of my comfort zone. And then I got the one in Grapefruit. Um, and I, again, these are two shades that I would normally wouldn't pick up, which, um, why I bought them. They were like $3 on sale so I said why not. Got those and then I got a few things from Essence. I got the Essence Silky Touch Blush in the shade Adorable. 
This is one of my new favorite blushes. It's just a, I wouldn't, yeah, is that like a mauve pink, I think? Um, so I got that, that was super cheap. And then I got the Essence Contour Powder with the highlighter. And then I dropped it on my floor of my bedroom and it totally fell into two pieces, which none of the product was um, damaged, but I actually really do like this. Um, I don't know, my NYC one that I've been using, the one in Sunny that I usually usually contour with, I don't know, it's starting to turn my skin a little bit orange, so I bought something different, and this is in, just in the shade Light. I'm really enjoying this lately. And then I got the Essence Pure Nude Makeup, it's just a foundation with a pump on it. It says it's supposed to have a no makeup feel, no, yeah, a no makeup feel. Um, I don't know how I ideally feel about this. Um, it's really liquidy and it's kind of too orange for me, which most face products are. And it just, I don't know, I'll um, use this a little bit more, let you guys know. And then I got the Essence Liquid Lipstick in the shade Casanova, I think. And it's just not a red, but not a pink shade. It's really pretty. Um, Again, I haven't used this a whole lot to let you guys know my full review on it, but it kind of looks like the Maybelline, Co what are those things called? Like the ones that look like lipsticks with their lip glosses kind of thing. So I got one of those, and then I got the uh, Wet n Wild All Day Wear Photo Focus Setting Spray, and I was out of my other setting spray, so I've heard really good things about this, thought I'd try it for myself. I like this, but... I just don't like the scent, but I can get over it. Like, it lasts for two seconds. So I got that. And then I got two other Essence product, uh, Wet n Wild products. That's the one. I got the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Illuminating Palette in the shade, um, Catwa Pink. Um, they recently redid a lot of their packaging. This thing is massive. It's going to take me forever to get you through this, but it's so pretty um, as a highlight or like a blush or something. So it just looks, I don't think you guys can see that. Nope, you can't see that, but it's just right there. So I got that. Super excited to start using that more. And then I got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Reserve Your Cabana. A lot of people here on YouTube have been raving about this highlighter, so I thought I'd pick it up. I don't have many highlighters, face highlighters to begin with, so I thought I'd just test that out. So I got that. That is also huge too. Um, I'm gonna. It's gonna take forever to get through that. And then I got the CoverGirl Get Ready Set. Oh, uh, Ready Set Gorgeous Concealer. I have the powder, and I wanted to test with the concealer. Um, I'm pretty sure they just took another product and slapped a different name on it from their line, which, I mean, I don't mind. I, I like the concealer before. I really like this. This is what I'm wearing today. It's a little bit lighter than my skin tone, which I like for, like, my under eyes or something. So I got that. I also want to pick up the foundation and do a first impression on it because um, it's the only product that I don't have from them yet. So then I went to... Blue notes, and I picked up a few clothing items. The first one being, or the first two being jeans, um, because they were having a buy one get one something, buy one get one fifty percent off, I think. So I got these, which are just a darker wash with distress on like the legs and stuff. And these are called the Taylor jeggings. They're the low rise, and they just look like this. I don't have any distressed leggings. Uh, not leggings jeans um even though these aren't really jeans they're jeggings but they have oh they don't have front pockets i thought they had front pockets um which i just i love the wash of these and i'm gonna get a lot of use out of these so i got those and then i got a pair of the what are these called the tomboy which is their version of a boyfriend jean with a wider bottom these are a little bit um, a light, of a lighter wash. They just look like this. They also have distressing on them. I'm super excited to wear these. So, oh, it's with those. 
And then I got this shirt, which I don't know. It just looks like this. It's gray and it has really long and then it has like crochet deal detailing on the bottom. Um, at first, when I first took this off the rack, it looked like a dress and then I put it on and then I realized it would be a shirt with leggings. Um, on some people, if you're short enough, this would probably be a dress. Like my best friend, she's really short and this would be a dress on her. Um, but I got this. I'm also really excited to style this with like leggings and boots and scarves and stuff. So I got that. It's just like this heather gray kind of material with long sleeves. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys!